Well, more tech issues in Minnesota's vaccine rollout causes mass confusion and panic. An email was sent out this morning to thousands of seniors who already got their first vaccine dose, saying they were ineligible for the second one. WCCO's Mary L. Mose explains what went wrong. And it said it's come to our attention that you were able to receive a vaccine appointment even though you were not selected this week. Beth Vorpal of Bloomington started her morning off with this email from Primary Bio. It said her appointment for a second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine was unauthorized and invalid. And then it went on to say don't show up, don't come. Joseph Patini of Minneapolis got the same email Saturday morning, several times flooding his inbox. I looked at my email and I had 15 emails that were the same information. Beth and Joseph are just two of more than 11,000 Minnesotans over 65 who got their first the COVID vaccine that first week of the state health department's pilot program. So when this email went out to all of these seniors, you can imagine the mass confusion and worry it caused. Frankly, I was a little frantic because since it's the follow-up appointment and it's supposed to be within that certain time frame, I was like, well, am I going to have to start from scratch? What does this mean? Within an hour of the email going out, Primary Bio sent out a new message. I have received an email saying it was a mistake. They said it was an error and assured people their appointments are confirmed and they should still show up for their scheduled second dose. I'm glad that it was resolved. I understand that the state's doing the best they can with what they have. Minnesota's Department of Health said it was a technical glitch, saying the email was only intended for 20 people who had registered for a vaccine appointment, but were ineligible. Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. In a statement, Primary Bio says they take full responsibility, adding, we have corrected that error and communicated directly to Minnesotans impacted that their appointment is confirmed as scheduled. We have apologized to the state of Minnesota and all those Minnesotans impacted and are taking immediate steps to ensure it doesn't happen in the future.